Hi, this is Mike Hendrickson from Velocity 2018 in San Jose. I'm here with Darren from Box. Darren, how are you doing? Great, how are you? Good. So what do you do at Box? So I'm the Senior Vice President of Technology Operations. So I run everything from our data centers and public clouds out to our network operations center and everything in between. Can you unpack the Box? What is Box? So Box is a cloud content management platform. Uh, it allows companies to do things as simple as enterprise file sync and share, but we do it in a more secure level, government DOD level, impact four levels uh, compliance, but we also have platforms that allow developers to build applications on that so that we can take some of that security, uh, the complexity out of it for uh, teams and, and, and allow that to work off-site for companies, but still provide them security that they wouldn't be able to provide on-site. Are you more of an enterprise or a, a consumer? Uh, we, we, or we, we, yeah, we have about 70% of the uh, enterprise Fortune 500 under agreement as Box users, so we're largely square in the enterprise space. Okay, so I heard you, you coined a term at Box called yearn, learn, and earn. Yes. Yeah, really that was around, you know, and, and one of the beliefs that I have is that uh, those are the three pillars that either attract talent or keep talent at, uh, at any company. Um, on the yearn side, what we've, what I feel is that people want to work for the company. I think we've had a conversation offline around some, a company that's doing something that matters, um, that has the culture, um, the level of respect, those type of things. You have to feel good about the company that you work for. Uh, on the learn side, uh, people want to have the ability to learn new technologies. They want to have opportunities. At, at Box, we use everything from containerization to OpenStack to public cloud providers to high security certifications and compliances, um, and then also mo uh, mobility. 30% uh, of uh, employees at Box of our positions are filled through internal mobility as well. So, and, and the last one is earned. People want to feel that they are fairly compensated and uh, at market levels, or if the company succeeds, that they'll have some. Uh, benefit of their own in the in the success that's aligned with the company. So it's really there's no one for different people. There may be different levels of importance, but ideally those are the three things that if you can solve for uh, folks, I think he either keeps them in their job or will attract them. And I think we've done a good job of it. At and, and that's kind of building a culture. Yes, you know those those three together kind of help build a culture that fosters long-term employees. Yes, and, and you know, as you know, the Valley is, can sometimes be very transient mm -hmm. in, in employment, so creating that, that cultural brand, uh, allowing people to have that mobility, to, whether they're early in their career or later in their careers, are all things that I think help you know, solidify that. So in employees. you're in the Valley, yes, and there's a lot of competition for great talent, right? Mm -hmm. So when you see someone that you want, what are, what is the like some of the first questions you ask them when they're sitting in front of you, looking to work for Box? What what are some of the things you want to know about them? Uh, so for me, one of the largest motivations, having been in the technology business for some time in hyperscale companies for uh, for a while now, I won't say how long, uh, but it's around people who are hobbyists. I use the term hobbyist. Um, you know, I, I was working on computers before I ever had any formal education or training around them because I was passionate about it. So I, I look for that person that if they were, no matter what job they were doing previously, if they went home, they would, they would work on a computer to do those. Those are the people I think have the passion that continue to want to work. So first and foremost, that's one of the things we look at, but also where do they, what, what kind of mark do they want to leave on the industry and what p passion do they have for learning, et cetera. So more than just, uh, it's a job. That yeah. they, they actually want it's to It's a make career. An, it's a career, not a job. I think there's a difference between having a job and having a career, and um, we're less interested in people who want to have a job and much more interested in people who want to develop a career. So if you, if you look at all the companies that you compete with, um, why does Box stand out? Um, I, I, I actually believe that the culture is one of the, you know, I talked about those three pillars. Probably the one that is... Uh, the, the two that I would say are the, uh, the largest impactful, most impactful things that we do is the mobility within the organization and having a goal at the corporate level to, to have mobility. I think that attracts a lot of talent. Um, I think the other piece is when we talk about culture, there's nothing that the box employee wants for. We, they get lunch, dinner, everything that you want. We pay for trains, their, their transportation to the office, all of the things are covered. So we really take all of those things out of the equation so people can really focus on their career. On their work, yeah, yeah. that's excellent. So what is the biggest challenge to keep people from leaving Box? Because if, if you have this great culture, 
and you have a product that is needed by yep. enterprises, why would people ever leave? It's it, well. There's this is a uh, there's a lot of companies here in the valley, and there's new ones that pop up every, uh, all the time. But I think the balance that we always have to strike at Box that's difficult is we have to meet customers' needs and their demands, um, and the appetite for the technologies that we, people want to use and work in. So it's a constant balance of meeting market demands as well as uh, employee demands. And if you overcompensate on any two of those things, then you can find yourself having trouble retaining talent. And that kind of hovers around the whole learn idea, right? Exactly. All the new technologies they want to use, you get to learn yeah. how to deploy that for them. Yeah. So it's yeah. really balancing those three pri those three pillars, and but also you know we you know there's there's three people I say that you try to solve for. It's the customers, uh, employees, and shareholders, and in that in that order, um, and that's the balancing act that we always have to try to maintain. Excellent. So if you looked forward twelve months from now. Would you say the culture at Box is going to be the same? Are you going to be able to keep it the same and still grow and still scale and still meet new customers' demands? I, I, I hope so. Uh, so our, our CEO and, and some of our other founders, um, that's one of the things that I think is curated the most at Box within. Uh, so even our CEOs are still heavily involved in the culture. If you look at the feedback that we get on the culture, uh, everyone is extremely focused on maintaining that cultural uh, aspect that we have because I do think it is a differentiator that we have in, in the work in the workplace when you say look at our uh, our reviews or culture are you talking about the website that people when they leave a company put reviews on yes yeah yep. yeah and we, we we score extremely well in those yeah. um, even when we look at people who have left we we, we we go deeply into why would they leave and, and those types of things. And then when we, where there's a chance to do correction, we do. We employ everything from pulse surveys to others to constantly reevaluate and take a pulse of the, of the culture constantly. So my last question for you is, uh, if you could tell every tech leader out there one piece of advice on how to create a culture like this, what, what, what is the best way to get culture like this going? Uh, one thing that's very difficult is, uh, for me, it, it's it's difficult to say one thing because I think you have to, it's a it's an ecosystem that has to be firing on multiple cylinders, and if you only if you only target Tweak one area, right. then you yes you might solve for some people, but you may not solve for others, and you have to have that whole ecosystem I think in place. So, but the, I think culture would be ideally the first and foremost thing to solve for, um, and then and then probably the learning side and the mobility. People have to feel good about what they're doing and who they work for and who they work with. And if they don't feel that way, they're not going to last long anywhere. Excellent. Darren, we look forward to your journey at Box. Thank All you right, so thank much. Thank you. Thanks for having me.